everyone, this is Jamie Davis. I'm your peer mentor for Library 203. This is an instructional video on the best ways to use Google Documents to collaborate with others. So here I am on the main page of my Gmail inbox. And I'm using an email that um, I don't often use, so I don't have a lot of emails to show you. Um, but that's what it looks like. So once you have your Gmail, you'll be looking at a screen very similar to this. And in order to get to the Google Drive, it used to be called Google Documents, it's now called Google Drive, you'll want to come up here and click on Drive. So this is what your Google Drive looks like. And what we want to do is create a new document. So I come over here and I click on Create. Now you have a couple of options here. You can create documents, presentations like PowerPoint presentations, spreadsheets like in Excel, forms and drawings, and there are other applications that you can also connect to your Google Drive. For the purposes of today, we're going to click on Document because I want to show you how you can collaborate in Google Docs. Okay, so now we have our first document. So what we want to do is give it a name. So we're going to come up here to the top and click on Untitled Document. And we're going to put Document 1. So now that we have a document, I'm going to go ahead and add some text. Some text. Be right back. Okay, so here's some text. By the magic of the internet, it has just magically appeared. Okay, so um, for the purposes of this instructional video, let's just make pretend that you're in a group for a class and you're working on a resume. And this is the resume that you're working on together. So you set up your Google document and you want to add people to share it with you. You want to share it with your teammates. So you come up here to the share button and you'll see that you have a couple of options. And what I want to do is add my fiance. So I'm going to put his email in here. The stirs at gmail.com. Then you can decide whether you want your teammate to be able to edit, only comment, or only view. So only view, meaning literally that they will only be able to view the document and will not be able to comment or edit. Um, I'm going to allow him to edit because I want him to have full access to the document. And then you would click share and save. You could add um, by putting comma and then adding other people as well. You can see at the top you can also share the links via social media. And you can change the actual status. Um, if it's private, it's not going to be found on a Google search engine. That's usually how we like it. Um, or anyone with the link would be fine too. Okay, so we're going to share and save with him. Now, if he came into the document, we could actually chat in real time. If you see this button up here next to comments, you can chat in real time. But as it says, no one else is signed into chat right now. So we won't be able to play with that. But one thing I would like to show you is how you can comment. So you highlight a passage that you'd like to leave a comment for your teammate. You right click and click on comment. You would write your comment and then click on comment. So now when your teammate comes back, they can actually click on that and reply to your comment. So you can work back and forth like this and create comments all down the, the document and um, you can work in live. I hope this has helped you and I hope that you use it um, in SLIS with your teams as I have found it very helpful throughout the program. Have a wonderful day.